hello everyone welcome back to my channel today one more essential topic for spring boot developers that is response entity so whenever you are creating service it is crucial to provide the right http response codes so in this video we'll explore how to handle http status codes using response entity without further delay let's get started so if you observe this diagram so here three services are there service 1 service 2 service 3 and this is the client application so client application like angular or react or any other application so whenever client application interacting with your service so your service should provide the proper http status course back to the clients so this client application can handle the response properly now we'll explore this response entity then we'll create one spring boot application and we'll see how to handle this response entity in the spring boot application Here's response entity so if you see this is extending http entity and if you see this is the http status code if you see this is 1xx 2xx 3xx 4xx 5xx so these are the types of status codes so most of the time we are using 2xx 4xx and 5xx in the spring boot applications so 2xs we are using like 200 201 so it is successfully created employee into the database or not and 200 will use to while performing the updation operation and 300 will use for the redirecting and 500 will use for internal server issue if you see this http status code again it is having one enum class http status okay so these are the list of http status codes it will start see 100 101 and 200 201 so these are the all the list of http status code you can go through this file you will get to know what are the list of http status codes are available and when to use which http status code if you see this one 404 they mentioned not found but the same way if you see 401 it is unauthorized and if you see 400 is bad request this is a 400 bad request we'll see most of the time in our spring boot applications and also if you scroll down 2xx so here we can see the 201 for created 200 for successful okay so now we'll create spring boot application and we'll see how to use this http status course in our spring boot project to reduce our time already i have created spring boot project so if you see this one here is the employee this is the entity and employee having id first name last name and city is the properties instead of the employee class so this is having employee repository and extending jpa repository and one employee service so from this service we are performing crud operations like creating the employee updating the employee get all employees and delete employees so these are the four operations we are going to perform from this service and also i have created one controller so here i am expose the api like slash employees and this is the api for the create employee and update employee get employee by id and get all employees also there is a one more like delete employees so these are the operations we are going to perform as per this application and first we'll see how we are handling the response entity here okay so also i have created exception handling also through global exception handler so here is my global exception handler class and i have defined two exception like apply not found and apply bad request exceptions so if you are getting these two exceptions in the application directly these two methods will execute and will return to the client and any other exception it will handle by handle global exception okay so for this one i have created two custom exceptions i have created one is employee bad request exception employee not found exception okay so first api will see create the employee so this is the employees and here is my create employee so whenever we are hit this api so it will call to the create employee and if you see this create employee 
so here i am doing some validation check means first name last name and city these are all getting from the client or not if any of the property is having the null then i am sending a employee bad request exception okay so this is my custom exception and this exception i am handling from global exceptions if you see my global exception class so here is the global exception handler class and here i am handling employee bad request exception okay so if you see this return so i am returning response entity i am handling the response with status code if you see this http status code bad request bad request is nothing but 400 okay so whenever this request from coming from the client if the request is not a valid request then we need to set this http status code as a bad request along with the error details if you see this is another class i have created error details so here i am passing message and date as well as a request description okay so like this we are passing the response entity back to the client so client can able to identify this is the issue with request itself how is i able to identify with this status code what the status code here using 400 is nothing but bad request right so you can easily to identify it is the issue with the request from the client so you can able so you'll fix the issue from their side okay so this is one bad request okay so in the same way uh, coming back to the controller class again and okay so here is the controller and create employee and we are calling this one in the service and if this request is not a valid then we are sending to the bad request. okay so if the request is valid only then what it will do it will directly save to the employee data into the database then here also we need to send one more response entity with status code back to the client if you see what is the status code we are passing here so response entity status is a created what is the code for this one it is nothing but 201 okay so here successfully one employee is created in the database right so for that one we need to send status code as 201 okay this is for create employee here we are handled two types of status codes one is for bad request another one is for successfully creating the employee that is 201 okay two status codes were validated here. okay at the same way if you want to update this employee so currently there is employee is saved in the database if you want to update the employee based on the employee id if you see here we are calling update employee passing the id as an argument and employee details again if you go with the update employee the service class again we are validating these properties if all the properties valid then we'll going to update if the properties are not valid then we can throwing employee bad request exception okay again it will send back to the http status codes to the client what is the status code bad request 400 okay and uh, if it is valid then it will save means it will update to the database and again it will send back to the now response entity as okay okay is nothing but status code it is like 200 okay so it will it will send back to the body whatever the details is updated it will send this apply details back to that client along with the status code as 200 this is for update so if you want to perform get operation for example if you see here we are using getting all the employees here getting all the employees and here we are getting the employee based on the id so if this uh, mention id is not available in the database means that particular employee id is not available in the database so in this case what we are showing employee not found exception okay so means employee is not available in the our database right so if you see what is the status code we need to pass in this scenarios from this global exception it will handle employee not found exception then if you see here is the not found okay here status code is if you see 404 employee not found in our database okay so if you are not available then you need to handle the response entity with a status code 404 so the again the client can able to easily understand this is a 404 based on that they can do their proper validations from client side okay so if you go to the controller again and there is a few more apis like delete employees if you are planning to delete the employee based on the id again it is also same if the employee id is available then it is okay if the employee id is not available in the database same employee not found exception in this case also it will send the http status code like not found okay 
so here we covered employee status code not found and bad request is a 400 not found is a 404 success is a 200 201 is a created okay new employee into the database and if you see the one more api to fetch all the employees get all the employees it is directly fetching all the employees from the database table here response code as 200 it will set back to the client okay like this we need to set the proper http status scores to your spring boot application so not only this status code there are multiple status codes is available in the response entity if you go with the response entity and if you go to http status codes in the http status codes having one enum class that is http status here you can able to see the multiple status codes based on the your requirement and your issue you need to return back to the client with proper status codes okay so if you see okay is a 200 created is a 201 and accepted is a 202 if you see the any authorization and not non-authorization related one also you can able to send the proper responses you can see if you go already see unauthorized unauthorized is 401 bad request is this okay so this is a forbidden is 403 again not found is 404 like that there is a multiple status code you can go through this class once you will get to know if you want to time out also see requested timeout for example if uh, they are calling some service if the service is not able to respond back on that specific time frame then you can uh, send this uh, status code as timeout url too long a request entity too large there are so many things just you can go through this well you will get to know more about http status now we'll try to test this application from the postman and we'll see how it is returning the status code back to the clients okay application is started now and we'll test that application from postman so here my port number is 9090 and first we'll try to create one employee so here is the api slash employees id is not required automatically it will generate so we need first name last name so this is my request and we are performing the post operation for this and we can hit this one and if you see this uh, response from this api so it is returning 201 as a this request has been resulted as a 201 it is like created okay if you see our controller and here is the created then this is the response entity as a 201 so at the time of creating new employee it will return as a 201 okay so now if we want to get this employee for example we'll use get and we we'll perform same employees only and uh, it is see again one employee it is returned now it is code as 200 okay now if you want to perform the update so for the update we need to use this port we come to my controller so this is the put mapping and we need to pass id as the argument okay so what is the id i'm using here so id i have inserted as one and we can set this one instead of aj tech i will use text aj test and ct i have changed it to hyderabad and now if you update this one based on the employee id is one now you can see data is updated now again it is send response code as 200 only okay so if you are not passing any one of this field for example this is not passing and we are trying to insert this data okay we are using post mapping we are trying to inserting data if you see this request first name last name is there but in my service i am doing some validation particular field is null or not okay if the field is not having the data then what will happen if you see sorry so we need to remove this and click this one now if you see 400 it is showing bad request URA slash employees 
employee details are incomplete is a message okay where request will issue because we are returning the request from here while creating the employee we are doing the validation check all the fields are available or not then we are passing if the other fields are available then it is okay if anything is failed then we are throwing the exception employee bad request exception with the status code 400 okay so like this you can test your application i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel